All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Carbide Create software. Carbide Motion jogs the machine around and loads up our tool paths and runs programs. The Carbide Create is a real rudimentary CAD system that we can use to create different shapes and whatnot inside um, of our work. So in a previous uh, video, I did set my work up on the router. I've got a nice uh, UND green piece of oak that's ready to go. And in here, I've got the Carbide Create software. I know that this piece happens to be five and a half inches wide by uh, about oh, a foot long and three quarters of an inch thick. First thing I'm gonna do is set that up in my parameters. So the width of the material here is at 12 inches and the height of the material is 5.5 inches, and my material thickness is 0.750. And I hit OK on this. Now that's gonna scale the size of our work here, and this has some real crude CAD files that we can mess around with here. Uh, so if I wanted to create a circle as an example here, um, click, click, we've got a circle, and from there, you know, I can put in some different parameters about, well, what size would I like it to be? So if I had five and a half inch material, um, you know, 2.5, uh, that would be a five inch radius that would fit inside of there. That should be good to go. And then that circle, uh, if I wanna move it around, I can click on this move icon relative to the center or relative to an edge you can define these parameters. So maybe I wanna go uh, 2.75 inches in the X axis and 2.75 inches in the Y. All right, so I've got a bit of material around here uh, that's left over after my circle has been cut. So you guys can play around with this CAD model here. Um, this is also a place where you're gonna import DXF files from Creo or SolidWorks and we'll have another video talking about that. So this is just some real quick, um, how do you generate a tool path in here? So that looks great. Um, that's my geometry that I'm interested in cutting out is just this little circle. So I would click from design into tool paths and we have a few options here. A contour is gonna cut something out. A pocket would cut a hole inside of something. Um, V-carve, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So I don't know all these options real well, but let's get in here and say, you know what, we're gonna do a contour and use the current selections. I had the circle was already highlighted. And then I have options here about where I'd like the center of the tool to be. Would you like to have no offset? Uh, then it, you know, with a quarter inch cutter, it's gonna have an eighth inch on either side of this line. So the resulting material would be actually a little bit smaller. But in this case, I think I'm gonna go with a outside right for my tool path. Uh, notice the tool that's up top here is defaulting to an eighth inch. Uh, I happen to have a quarter inch cutter in there. So I'm gonna go up here and choose, I think we got a bunch of um, Nomad brand carbide tools with the machine. So I'm gonna click on end mill uh, number 201, uh, quarter inch, go ahead and hit select on that. And the pass per depth, one of these things, you, you roughly, you don't wanna go more than about half the thickness of your cutter. So if this is a quarter inch cutter, I could take an eighth inch at a shot. This particular router, getting familiar with it and trying to figure out all the settings, I'm gonna be pretty happy with a 16th of an inch, 0 0.0625. So that's gonna be my maximum pass per depth. I hit okay. And then in this, it's gonna ask me questions about you know, how deep would you like it to cut? In this case, my material is 0.75, so I'm gonna to go to 770, cutting slightly through the material into the spoil board, or maybe just kissing the tape that was used to mount it. Uh, that should be good to go. Uh, I can hit okay on this and show a simulation. It takes my material, it shows that I'm cutting through you guys could experiment with the mouse buttons here to figure out how to rotate and look at this in different ways. So this is a simple uh, circle tool pass. So I'm gonna hit save on this and hit okay. 
So that looks great. Um, I'm just going to call this, uh, I think I had a, there's test cut. We'll, we'll reuse the test cut. You want to replace it? Yep, sure do. Okay, so that's a quick run through on how to create a basic shape inside the Carbide Create software. Now to bring that up and actually cut it in Carbide Motion, we go back to this software and we go into the details. So uh, at this point we, we have a file that we want to run. So we go from the Jog tab, which we were at earlier, into the Run tab. This has already been set up and mounted with our X, Y, and Z zeroed out our stock on the bed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the previous video on setting your material up on the bed of the machine. So I'm gonna load a new file. This is our test cut file. And that looks good. I'm done with that. Most excellent. So it should be ready to run this particular file. Now, when you're looking at the machine here, a couple of things to note this dust collection. Make sure the dust collector is turned on and the uh, blast gate is open so that we get good dust collection through the hose, otherwise it kind of goes everywhere. And when the keyboard's out here, maybe take that keyboard, set it aside where it's not gonna get full of dust or underneath is a, an acceptable thing to do. Uh, this little button here with the red light on it is your, um, uh, the, the spindle enable. So if the button is on in red like that, um, the router will be enabled and turn on and off with our G code. So I think we're ready to go, ready to cut our stock here and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna click on load uh, new file. Oh, we already did that. Yep, yep, I'm sorry, cancel. Hit start job, the circle test or test cut is already there. Uh, from there, I can click, sorry, I was showing you the wrong information here. So um, I'm just gonna go back here for a moment um, to the run. Okay, we've got the file loaded. Hit start job and start. Now it's gonna do that same thing uh, as far as jogging the machine around. And <clears throat> let's see. There we go, she takes off and heads over and it's gonna ask, do you want to change the tool again? I like how this is real fussy about that and we don't need to change it. This time it's already got a quarter inch cutter in there ready to go and it's gonna go ahead and jog in and touch off on the tool height, measure that tool height one more time. All right, I'm gonna venture over and turn on the dust collector. All right, obviously hearing protection would be most valuable here. It's quite a loud machine. And as I'm looking at this, I can see uh, just a little bit of the tape that's left over. Uh, I'm going to have another little section here where I cut the UND logo into this circle momentarily. So that's a rough overview on how we operate the machine, how we load the stock, and use the Carbide Create program to get your files up and running. So. We'll catch you next time.